What is up everyone, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Mahul. We got some pretty cool car stuff going on, but we are actually working on our SEMA build, which is now canceled. But again, I'm still gonna get this car finished, get this car going and whatnot. But so in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be, I'm gonna show you how, how to wire up a fuel gauge. So I got this fuel gauge from Autometer. Um, it was like 50 bucks and so this fuel gauge is zero to 90 ohms. So I'm gonna show you guys on how to wire this because a lot of videos that are watched doesn't really show you how to, how to wire it, especially with a car that has a fuel cell. A lot of them show like a fuel tank, but it's kind of similar, but no one really shows you on how to wire it or how it works. So to put it, to put it from the beginning, the way to actually know how many ohms your fuel tank is or the fuel sending unit, you would actually have to measure with voltmeter um, with ohms to see if it's zero to 90 or whatnot because that's what's gonna tell if your gauge is fuel, uh, empty or full. So, mine's zero to 90, I measure that with a voltmeter. And now I'm just gonna make make sure it works and before I actually plug it up to the car and then it doesn't work. So, just to make sure my zero to 90 was correct. So, yeah. So, with autometer it says to use 18 gauge wire. So I got some 18 gauge just for a trial. I like just to play around with it, but it's not gonna be the actual one that's gonna be throughout the car so I'm gonna do that later I just want to do it for testing purposes let's get to it all right this is just to show you guys so these two on the outside these are actually going to be our mounting points so this is just the LED power and then we have our ground right here and a positive here and then we have the signal right over this one so all these are kind of labeled so basically I'm just going to have the signal which is going to be the positive to the positive on the the fuel sending unit and this would be ground this, and both these two are going to be wired to power um, just so I can have the light and all that stuff functioning. So all this is going to be going to go straight to the battery. Both of these positive and negative is going to go straight to the battery and this is going to go to the actual terminal and the ground on the um, level sending is going to go also to the ground on here. So all of that just going to be for testing purposes making sure the level sending works. So uh, I got the, I got my I got my crimps, gonna go ahead get all this stuff kind of pre-wired a little bit so I can show you guys. So what I'm gonna do first is basically gonna bridge the power for this, which is the LED light. So this is the LED light. It's and then gonna take this, gonna basically do a wire nut with this one, run that straight to the battery, and then same thing with the power, gonna run that straight to the battery. In the future, whenever I actually get this mounted to the car, this is probably gonna be wired up to my lights light ignition source and then that would whenever I flip on the lights that would get wired the light would turn on this would be constant power and constant ground so just gonna grab a little bit of the wires this would help if I had a reel but you know gotta make use of what I got So again, this is gonna go to the battery. The only long one I'm gonna need is probably just the sending unit one. So that's, don't, not, don't gotta do anything too crazy. All right, so I got my snips. Gonna cut right here. This will be 18 gauge. So that's that. So both of these would probably just, just in the meantime, in the future, I'm going to definitely be soldering these. So, like, again, I don't understand why they want to see 18 gauge, because this is definitely not 18 gauge. This one is mine. So in the meantime, I'm just going to have these on the wire nut, so that way I can... So that's done, and this one's gonna go to the battery. So on this one, I'm probably just gonna put like a little terminal end on this one. The ones that's gonna go to the battery, I'm gonna put those on terminal ends. 
so that way it's going to be a nice connection. Alright, so this is gonna be for the sending unit. I'm gonna put the wire crimp with a fork on this as well, get this crimp. I know this is gonna look like a lot of wires, but once this is I'm just kinda of assembling everything. Uh, then I'm gonna do once I get showed you uh, I'm gonna show you guys once I get it all wired up. So now I'm gonna create the ground to the battery and then I'm gonna create another ground that's gonna go from the level sending unit that's in the tank, the fuel cell to the battery ground as well. So I'm gonna have two greens. All right, so now we got the ground going. Clean this up a little bit. This one's gonna be a fork as well. So this is the ground. Now, we need the last ground, which we're gonna use the wire nut, so this one's gonna go to the battery. One's gonna go to the battery end, the other one's gonna go to the level sender, so we got two wire nuts. Got this, and then again, one's gonna go, one's gonna go to the level sender for the signal. This is gonna be going from the ground from level sender to the battery. All right, so before we take it to the battery, I'm gonna show you on how to get this all kind of wired up. So this is the signal, ground, and positive. So again, when it comes with it, it's gonna tell you which one's which, which is pretty cool. So. So far on what the diagram says is we're gonna, so these are the, the two mounting points. So we don't really care about these right now. This is going, they says to put a wire nut all the way, or a nut on each of them. Again, all the hardware is included, so should be good on there. So getting a nut on each of them first. Right now I'm just getting this kind of hand tied a little bit. Okay. And then after that we're going to put the washers on each of them. And then we're going to be putting each of these signals. So we have our, our ground and we're going to be putting a crushed wash on top of it. And then we're going to be putting a nut on top of it as well. So that's going to be our ground. Again, this is just for demonstrating purposes. I'm not. Gonna, this is not how I'm gonna fully wire it up yet. This was gonna go to the battery post. This is gonna go from the battery to the actual level sending unit. So this is what I'm not gonna use right now. And then same thing with this guy. It's gonna be going from um, this signal wire. And this one's going to be going to the signal wire on the actual. So this is going to be here. Put the crush washer and then put a nut on top of that. Get this kind of nice and tight. Okay. So again, we already have this one for the light already getting to the battery terminal. And now this is gonna be the last one where it's going to be, should get this nice and tight so it doesn't slip out. And then this last one is what's gonna to go to the positive here and then to the positive post with the battery. So this is gonna go here. There's another crush washer and the nut. And currently in my gas tank, I have no gas in there because I haven't started the car up yet. And so we should 
has zero zero fluid in there. Like it should be empty on the signal on the fuel cell on the the gauge. And then we're gonna go in manually and then flip it with our move the level sender to see if it goes to full. I'm gonna go ahead and get these tight. All these are nice and tight, not coming out. So now let's get this wired up to the fuel cell and the battery. I'm gonna let me show you guys how we're doing this. So I have my 12 volt battery right over here. Like I said, this is gonna be the positive and this is going to be the positive for the light. So that's gonna be wired, again, this is showing you, this wired directly to the positive right here. Eventually I'll probably have the light to like an ignition source, but that's just, just to show you guys right now. Cause I want all of it on so I can see it for testing purposes. This is the ground. This ground is attached to the other ground line that I made right over here. This is gonna to go to the ground that's on the level sending unit. And then this is gonna go straight to the battery cause that's a good ground. And then the signal wire, which is right over here, is gonna to get to the red signal wire that's on the battery. So that's what I'm gonna be using those as wire nuts. That way we can see. I have the level sending inside here. So I have it open. I don't know if you guys can see or anything like that, but I'm gonna stick my hand in there and just kind of lift it up and down so I can see on the gauge um, if it's working or not. So what I'm gonna do is connect the wire nuts to those and then attach it to the battery, make sure it works, and then adjust the fuel, uh, adjust the level sender and see. And again, this is on the fuel cell, so I have my return, the two feet on the bottom. This is just my breather valve. All right, so we have our fuel level gauge right there, and then I have the battery post terminal right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the power on first, and then we're gonna be putting on the ground. I wanna see if this lights up. So it does light up, perfect. So the ground is slightly a little loose, so I need to tighten up that part up so let me go ahead and tighten it up and give me a second but we have our fuel level gauge the light definitely works and definitely is on e so again there's no fuel in there so let's bring this a little closer uh, try to see if i can move the level sending yeah so oh my hand stuck and look now it's at full perfect so basically the gauge works and as i lower the level sending unit it goes back to empty perfect exactly what I needed. Now we're at full. Bam, done. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So hopefully that helped a lot with how to wire the fuel level gauge. And again, I'm gonna figure out where I want to on my dash. I'll probably show you that through Instagram. In the next couple of videos, we're probably gonna show how to wire up the power windows because I really want those to a momentary uh, switch. So found out how I could do it, and now we're gonna be. Show I'm gonna show you guys on how to do it, and it'll be pretty cool add on to the car. So. That will be pretty badass. So again, I'm going to show you on how to do it. And then eventually I'm going to run new wiring and all that stuff to make it final, this final edition. But there's, um, the way I'm going to show you guys stuff is going to be like off the, like not the final product, but that way I can show you on how the wiring is done and what to do. So, yep, that's basically it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, follow me right over here. Smash the subscribe button, like the videos. And remember guys, live your dreams. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.